there's something really wonderful about gifting, about that feeling of giving a gift to another person. What I would like to explore with you today is how gifting can feel like true magic and how this magic has the potential to transform all our lives. Now to begin, I'd like to ask you to all close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes. And think of the last time that someone did something for you or you did something for someone as a pure act of kindness. Can you touch that feeling where you felt loved, connected and taken care of? It could be something simple like, you know, you gave someone literally half a sandwich when they were really hungry or something much bigger like a secondhand phone that you couldn't afford in that moment. Whatever it is you're thinking of, hold that feeling. Now open your eyes. Isn't it fascinating what we all just did there? I think we touched on something that is inherently human. Gifting is an essential way of connecting. And I think ultimately it's an expression of love. And this realization and its potential for social and economic revolution is what set me on the path I'm on today. And guess what? I also know this feeling. This is me and my car. I received this car from a family friend called Udo. Now, Udo owns a car recycling plant outside of Berlin, and he recycles hundreds of cars every year, or he resells them as secondhand cars. My car, though, he decided to give to me for free. Can you believe it? He literally gave me a car. Here we see me in one of my favorite coats. I got this coat from my aunt. Now, let's be honest, my aunt shops a bit too much and she regularly gets into the situation where her wardrobe's literally bursting and she needs to make room. So in order to do that, she decided to give this coat to me. Let's think for a second. Why would my aunt and Udo give me these relatively high value items for free? Why wouldn't they go through, you know, the process of reselling them and making some money of them? Well, it turns out that gifting isn't just an act of kindness. Gifting is also the most efficient transaction ever. And the truth is that most of us lack the time and motivation to go through a resale of literally every item we have sitting around And, you know, what we would rather do is give it to someone who could still value it, use it, and make the most of it. So, I think it's fair to say that actually, with gifting, there's no downsides. Both my aunt and Udo got rid of what they no longer needed, and I was able to get something I could use in everyday life. So, to summarize, gifting only has upsides. Gifting creates true relationships And gifting makes people happy. And here comes the best news about me receiving these items. Nothing new had to be produced for me to get them. And why is this important? Well, you might not realize, but depending on the category, up to 50% of consumer goods produced are actually never used by anyone. As a global society, we're shockingly wasteful. Yet we have this inherent feeling of constantly needing to buy more and more. And with climate change on the rise, we all know that we have to solve this problem of overconsumption. So, how would we go about such a change? Well, I think it actually comes down to changing human behavior. Capitalism has taught us that we need to buy more and more, and then actually throw out what we bought yesterday. So I think it's fair to say that what we really need is to get out of the situation where we have, you know, one t-shirt made and one t-shirt wasted. What we need to get to is a mindset shift where we are able to show ourselves that we are enough, that we're taken care of, and that we can stop buying. And if we look at the theory, 
at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, for example, what we would have to move to is this level, it's called self-actualization, literally a level where we can show ourselves that we live in abundance and we need to do so on a mass scale. Now, when we did the little exercise earlier, I think we discovered an open secret. This state is actually readily available to all of us. All we have to do is to create new structures that would allow for us to normalize gifting in everyday life. And this realization is what led to creating my startup Gifted. Gifted is a new platform for the free redistribution of consumer goods. And building this ecosystem for a while, I've actually come to understand some really interesting facts, which I'd like to share with you today. Number one, it is true, people aren't just motivated by money. People are also motivated by a sense of status, social connection, and a sense of happiness. Number two, gifting creates true relationships. There's no sense of loyalty that you can create through a monetary transaction as you can create through gifting. And thirdly, and most importantly, goods move so much faster. When you gift something, we see on Gifted that actually, often, 80% of items uploaded are reserved and then picked up within a matter of days. So I think what we found here is an entry point into our current system where we can grow gifting simply by creating visibility into what people no longer need and they would rather give to someone else. The new consumption equation becomes this. The person who has the highest need for something receives the item and becomes its temporary custodian. And as soon as they no longer need it, they pass it on to someone else. So goods move freely. And with this, resource use goes down and usage levels go up. At the same time, we achieve this mindset shift where people can have that sense of being enough, being taken care of. And I believe we can show ourselves that we are capable of living in loving reciprocity with each other. And what's really great about this as well is that the status equation now becomes what can I give instead of what can I get? And what's great about gifting? Establishing gifting economies is super easy because gifting is an inherently human behavior. It can be instantly accessed across all cultures and doesn't need to be learned. All we have to do is to create the right infrastructures for people to engage in this way. I firmly believe the majority of people want to do good. What we have to do is create a way for them to feel safe and taken care of. If we manage to do so, I think we can show ourselves that as a species we are ready to evolve to a level where we can live in loving harmony with the planet and our environment. The truth is, you all carry that spark of change within you. I encourage you today. Use it. It can move our world. Thank you.